again. Well, I mean, it's, it's been a while, so that's okay. Uh, you know, give the fans a little life update every every two years. Every two years. Oh, for my sure. God. Terrible. Terrible. Um, so, Derek, awesome. What is the plan, man? Welcome back. What's going on? What's going on? Um, uh, it's been way too long. I'm happy to be here. Yes. Uh, I am I'm happy to have you back. It's, like I said, it's been too long. Um, but we talked about a lot of stuff before we start recording, so uh, we'll have yeah. to... We'll have to fill everybody in because, like, I already got all the deets. But, um, what is the plan in the off season right now? Like, uh, you you did New York Pro, uh, and mm-hmm. it it wasn't the hardest you've ever been, but you still got fourth. So, yep, it's something. So, what's the plan now? Uh, I'm a week out. You're a week out from uh, Chicago. Chicago, right? Yep. Okay, so you're gonna do that with uh, Tonio. And oh no, Tonio's probably doing open. Oh, Tonio's doing open. Yeah, he's um, he is he is far beyond two twelve. I think I because I saw him in Orlando, yeah. um, and I uh, I managed to get him uh, to the side away from everyone. We were just talking and just shooting the shade, and I was just talking about how his off season was. He was on stage. I think he said two uh, thirty. Yeah, I think he said on the episode he said two thirty, and then he said in his off season he barely gets over two forty. He's around like 250. I'm like, how do you say so lean in the off season? He is he is gifted. I think he was heavier than that. Don't yeah. <laughs> he, I'll have he, to might, he might have been shooting the shit. He somebody let me know. Shit. Somebody somebody rewatch that and let me know what he said. But yeah, uh, he said he keeps yeah, it really no. lean. Oh no, he does he does stay in shape. Um, I'm sure he's very dedicated to his off season, but I also believe that it, there's a genetic component to it yeah. um as well. But he, you know, he looks great all the time. But um, yeah, I'm doing the, I'm doing Chicago. Uh, I know a few other guys that are doing it. Um, you know, for sure, just because of, you know, some of the other social media bodybuilding pages that cover shows. Yep. Um, but uh, so uh, coming back to New York. Um, yes. Sure. Basically, basically, what happened there was. You know, this is this. It was my first show with the current coach that I'm working with. His name is Dave Kalick. He's out of um, out of California. Uh, he um, oh, what part of Cali? Most southern. Oh, southern. Okay, uh, close. I I'm think he's close right to now. San Diego. No, no, no. He's no, he's south. Um, okay. I know he's not a far drive from Venice Golds. So oh, yeah. I think it. I think he said it takes LA. him like a half hour to get there. Yeah. Um. So it was our first show together, and you know we tried to take a more conservative approach. Um, especially with the water cutting, okay. um, with the way I was looking in the final days, we kind of mutually decided together that we didn't really, we wouldn't really need to pull water as hard. Okay. What we didn't count on was how much my body wanted to grow when carbs came back in. Oh. So, so I ended up uh, retaining a little bit more water than I thought I would. Uh, or that we thought I would going yeah. into the the carb up. And then we still were like, we won't need to pull that much water. So we really used dandelion root and that was really it as far as water pulling. Um, and then obviously we cut water drinking after a certain time. And yep. it just, that um, my body, I need to, if I'm going to, in order to bring a dry, the dry look that needs to be on stage, like we have to be more aggressive, um, you know, from a, from a diuretic perspective, if I, because like when I, um, when I did, um, when I did prejudging and I saw the pictures afterwards, I was like, fuck man. And then we used a little bit of aldactone going into okay. finals yep. and my finals look was significantly different, mm. much harder than my morning look. And if my finals look had come, if I had had my finals look at prejudging, I think I either would have won or at least been top two in my opinion. Damn. Okay. Yeah. It was that dramatic a difference. So, you know, you live and you learn. We can't, we have a new strategy. Uh, I'm already way more conditioned right now in this moment than I was even on stage at New York. So, um, so as long as we do the water pull the way that we know we need to, so that way I'm the dry look that I'm supposed to be, um, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be ready to rock. Oh yeah, man. Okay. Uh, so I'm excited. 
walk us through what your um, water manipulation plan looked like with you and um, with Dave. Uh, what did it look like? You know, did it start around like two weeks or are you doing like a gallon a day and then you break it down till peak week or hell week, so, whatever you um, call it? Uh, I, I, I fucking I hate, I hate that term. Um, just Which because one? if either well either one, just because <laughs> if you're if you're ready, then you really shouldn't have to do that much, right? So, okay. like we were able to keep food, you know, relatively excuse me, high and constant the whole week. Um, water was at a gallon and three quarters to two gallons every single day it, until two days out when um we dropped it down to one gallon and then uh a day out we did half a gallon and then like sips after that oh, wow. so okay. so um i've always kept water constant like right up until the end i just as um as dr scott stevenson says in his book dance with the one that brung you meaning if you've been doing a, things a certain way that got you into a shape that you know you should be in why would you suddenly start doing a whole bunch of different shit in the fourth quarter? That's like, that would, that'd be like if you were in a football game and you were running the ball for 45 minutes and you're up three touchdowns and then you decide in the fourth quarter, I know oh, yeah. running the ball has been working, but we should pass it. Yeah, yeah. And Cheer then the you love. lose. Mm. So there's just, it's just, it doesn't make any sense, um, you know. And it, it has that approach has created this myth that peak week is like this magical portal into yep. like a whole other dimension where you can go from fat and sloppy to fill heat. And yep. it doesn't work like that. You have to be ready. You have to be all ready. When you, when you get to seven days out, you should pretty much have been ready to step on stage at any moment. Like Steve Weinberger, could, Steve Weinberger could kick in your front door and be like, hit all your mandatories right now. And you'll go to the Olympia and you should have been ready. Mm. That's how that, that's what I think prep should be. Okay. So I mean, it makes sense. Uh, I, th I think, yeah, like you said, I think a lot of people get um, caught up with, with peak week uh, a little bit too much where they, mm -hmm. they, they add, especially when people from what I've heard add different types of foods uh, and they switch up the diet completely. Like they'll, they'll take out all the red meats and they'll do nothing but fish. And they, they didn't really eat fish in it beforehand. Uh, right. And like how that can affect um, I think Tyler said like it'll affect your your gut biome or something like that, yeah. and and how it can like really manipulate in not a good way um, that that package you're trying to bring. Well, because your your body has become accustomed to a certain the the specific chemical structure biochemical structure of all the foods that you've eaten. So yeah, protein is protein. Beef has protein. Chicken has protein. Fish has protein. But they are each a different chemical structure, hence right. why they are three different animals. So your body will register, even though it is still as a protein molecule, the body will still register it as a different substance. And if your pH balance and gut by in your in your gut, you know, your bacteria isn't primed for that, and then suddenly you throw it in without any type of adjustment period you run the risk of upsetting your digestive tract. And as we all know, everything about our progress starts with the quality of our digestion and sleep. So, mm -hmm. you know, as a bodybuilder, not even as a bodybuilder, as someone who is trying to, if you're so just someone who has embarked on a fitness journey to improve their life and their physique in some way, if you have anything that disrupts your sleep patterns and sleep quality, and it disrupts your digestive quality and appetite, it has to go mm. because it will hinder your progress without a doubt. So that's just how I feel about that. Church. <clears throat> Church, facts. <laughs> uh, I don't get to use that one very often. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, so keep things constant as much as possible. That's, that's always the name of the game. And that's how we're going to approach it. You know, this coming week, water is going to stay high. Right. Um, I've been food is I've been getting, I've been eating around like 200 and somewhere between 200 and 250 grams of carbs a day, pretty much, except oh, for, nice. um, except for rest days. It sounds nice on paper. Compared to what I <laughs> compared, compared to what my past preps have been like, but the, the feeling of, you know, that shitty feeling 
it, it doesn't go away contrary to popular belief um that's why i always laugh when uh so like there are a lot of coaches on social media gurus if you will like when they post their clients they only post like the genetically elite who were able to diet on three four hundred grams of carbs and not have to do more than 30 minutes of cardio and they got peeled and yep. it's made people think that that's what prep should be not realizing that those are the outliers that's the exception most people's preps are hard and fucking grueling i still have to do um you know my cardio is undulating but i mean i've still gotten up to i've had periods of two hours of cardio a day this prep yeah. um some days were an hour and a half some days were hour 45 minutes i've had days where it was just 40 minutes and nothing else like i've had uh, i've had all of it um so um every approach is different and every prep is going to be different because every body that you bring every every version of your body is what i meant to say that yeah. you bring into the start of a prep should be different if you're making progress your muscle to fat ratio is going to be different your yeah. strength is going to be different the amount of food that you're going to require is going to be different so no two preps should ever be the same so absolutely um, I don't know. I just went in like two or three different tangents. You got me all worked up. No, it's, it's <laughs> good. Um, I, I think it's important to understand that there's a huge difference between uh, each individual person. Uh, someone like, uh, you know, Derek or someone like myself or, you know, someone like Tonio who only did a five week prep for the Cali Pro. There's a lot. There's a big difference between how each person can do it. Uh, you know, yep. looking at myself, I'm 22 weeks out from doing my show. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's been two years since I've done a show. So I wanted to give myself a lot of time. Uh, and right. we've been doing, we've been trying to do like a recom for like the last six weeks. So, yep. uh, you know, who knows, who knows how long it's going to take me to get to where I think I want to be, but it's also been two years, man. Like who knows what stage weight two years ago would be. And then what stage weight this year is going to be, uh, right. you know, it's on the natural side, you know, I'm not going to put on too much muscle, but you know, who knows, like it could be you know, five, six pound difference. Uh, I don't know. I really, I have no expectations. I'm just going to get lean and then try to hold on to muscle. And Naturally with a two year break, five to six pounds is not unreasonable. Yeah. Um, I usually say naturally, like if you're, if you're genetically gifted, the best that you could hope for is three to five pounds in a calendar year. Um, normal would be closer to probably like two or three pounds Probably looking in, a, for in, a, in a year yeah, I've had injuries, of actual so. lean tissue, like not confused with body weight. Mm. No body weight. I think I put, I think, um, I think it went up like 40 pounds since stage weight, no, almost 50 pounds. Cause I was 196 on stage and I still feel like I could have probably cut a little bit more in the midsection. Um, right. Cause like the, the lower abs, they just couldn't see as much. Um, and right. then also like, you know, I know like natural people can get gyno, but like, I've always noticed that like my pecs, like they're always droopy on the bottom and they're in, it does have like that hard feeling to it. Uh, and mm -hmm. even when I was like super fucking lean, man, like it was still like, I just felt like I had tits and it was like, <laughs> I, 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 I'm wondering if I can get the army to pay to like have them looked at. Cause like, it just doesn't make sense. Mm, maybe, but cause it, it it's, kind of a toss up because it's a cosmetic thing. It's not a, yeah. you know, you're not at health risk, but I've known people who come out of puberty with gyno. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know, makes sense. You know, your, your test levels are super physiological for a really long time. Your body may not have, um, <clears throat> that person's body may not have the receptors necessary, uh, for, um, you know, to prevent, or the proteins in, um, involved to prevent uh, aromatization. Yeah. So they might have a lot more aromatization than, than usual, and that leads to, to gyno. Science. So yeah, um, I guess yeah. another side tangent. <laughs> another, an, another side tangent. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know if uh, Austin's gonna be able to make it. It's, uh... Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't yeah, hopped on. He's saying the the phone won't let him hop onto Zoom. Hmm. 
So it might just be a you and me show, which is okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. We got about um, ten yeah. more minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm. It's, it's almost time to eat again. I'm starting to fade. Um, but but no, but let's uh, you you were asking me about Chicago. Um, yes. I feel you know no matter what, I feel very confident. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Bo's doing it. Um, I haven't talked to him oh, really? in a okay. while about it. Um, he was actually here at one point he was considering, um, just going into off season, um, after his second place. Puerto finish Rico. At, uh, I think that it was, was Puerto, it, right? Puerto Rico. Cause that was his first yeah. show of the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd be so surprised and, if he stopped after, after one. Well, he was considering it. It might have been, you know, he might have been upset and was just kind of speaking emotionally. And then, yeah. and then he had said that, I think he had made a post saying that he wasn't, that, you know, he's going to keep going, but he hasn't really said much beyond that. So, um, I, so I don't know, but, you know, um, I feel, I feel very confident going into the show. I, this is my best look ever. Um, the, it's the biggest hardest leanest i've i've been the most muscular that i've been um and the final piece just that final drying out process so basically we're at a point where we can kind of coast it through this final week um not have to do anything crazy be able to back off the cardio um allow my body to actually be rested and then we once we pull that water and you know it's a done deal i'll be on stage on friday i'm excited to see the lineup and see who's who's uh who's doing it and then yeah. I already signed, uh, already signed my contract for Tampa, Tampa as well. So definitely. I'm gonna do the Tampa Pro, no matter what, no matter what. Um, so it, my goal will be to go into the Tampa Pro as the Chicago Pro champ, because mm. I'm at the, because we have uh, Kareth Bajo who yes, won defending. It last year. Yep. yep. He, and he's a, and he's a good friend of mine. We actually go. We both started competing actually at the same time. He's a good um, guy. I want to get him back on the channel. He's yeah, he's a good dude um keon's doing it uh nathan uh who won he won chicago two years in a row um nathan epler who placed fourth at the olympia Ooh, last year is doing yes. it yes wow so that's three guys that i know off the top of my head you know heavy hitters that are that are doing the show so you know i'm i want to have made a statement going into the show before before it even happens and i'm going to do that by you know hopefully winning chicago that's what yes. that's what we're going there for. Well, I, and then, I think and then we're going to put on a hell of a show at Tampa. Hell yeah! Well, yeah, I mean that's that's uh that's hometown territory for you, for sure. Right, close enough. <laughs> you close enough? Yeah, um, Florida. But what were you saying? Um, I mean, I was just thinking because like when I think of your structure, if you put you next to Kareth, I mean Kareth is a monster. You have so much muscle as well, uh, but you have a lot more. It's it's a classic look. It's the tiny like world defining or like gravity defining uh, or defying midsection. Like it's so tiny, and then you just the way you do your lat pose, the way you do your front double. Uh, it's I don't know, man. It's it's comparable, but it's it's so different. Uh, it's really going to come yeah. down to uh, what the judges are looking for. Um, yeah. and that's something I I don't know if it's my perception or if it's actually reality but if if we look at your scorecard uh you go from i think i have it in one of these tabs um you go from here it is 10th at new york in 2017 to second and we're like oh hell yeah second place let's go uh and then eighth and then 12th and then third and then fifth and eighth the ninth and fourth um do you think that that's just the judges having a looking for something different or was your package different in each of those shows? Um, I think, you know, it's a combination of both. Yeah. Um, it's, it's funny because my, my greatest strength on stage also happens to a lot of times be the, re one of the reasons I don't, you know, I don't win. Mm. Um, cause I always tend to lose to guys who, We'll have like one or two really freaky body parts that like are really eye catching. Like you just you can't help but look. Right. Um, and then you know they may not flow very well in other places, or they may be missing whole body parts. Like maybe like their lats from the front are non-existent or whatever. Mm, um, sure. So you know there are judges who definitely favor the more freaky bodybuilders, and then there are judges who favor you know the more complete person. So you know. 
with some judges it's a it's a glute contest or you know uh leg yep. contest or yep. freak freaky body part contest and then you know sometimes it's an aesthetics uh completeness contest you, you really don't know so the, all i can do is bring what the best version of me is and you know i know that i know that the best version of me is good enough to be standing with the top five at the olympia yeah. I know that without, without a doubt. So I know that when we, when we, because we have this formula down uh, as far as what we're going to be doing going into Chicago. And if we bring the dry look that I know I've already seen on me um, since New York, I, I'm very confident I can win. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I think uh, getting you back on the Olympia stage is definitely something we want to see this year. Uh, and I think it's going to happen, man. Uh, the whole, uh, the the promotional piece for this podcast was the hunt for the Olympia. So uh, hunt for the Olympia. Yeah. So you, Bo, uh, I'm on the Austin, hunt. They're all all three of you guys are on the hunt. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm very confident. I definitely we could definitely see all three of you on the stage. Uh, Easily. Yeah. Easily. Um, there's plenty of so shows I'm, left. There are. So one way or another, whether you know whether I have to keep grinding it out to get points or if I'm able to pull it off in Chicago. And then just do Tampa as like a, um, a fanfare. Yeah. Because I mean, I live ten minutes from the venue. It wouldn't. It, it does it's not going to cost me anything to do <laughs> Tampa Pro. So except for an extra two weeks of dieting, which I mean, I've already been stage lean for. I've been ready for Chicago as far as conditioning for about five weeks now. God. Glutes have been peeled, and I've just been just chilling with yeah. peeled glutes. Well, for, you know, it chilling. makes sense because I've looked at your Instagram and you looked stage ready. And I was like, I, I just, I, I guess I never put it together. But yeah, so, man, it's one week right. out. Yep, one week. That's it. We fly out. Ah. Me and Anastasia fly out on yep. uh, on Wednesday. And she competes for her pro card in women's bodybuilding on Saturday. So I go Good. first. And, you know, it's my job to set the pace. And yes. then, and then, because originally this was supposed to be her show. I wasn't going to do it. And I asked her, like, after New York, I was like, listen, like, I have options. If you don't want me to do Chicago so that it can be about you, I won't do it. Like, it won't even, it won't even bother me. You yep. just, she was like, no, I, I, I do want to do this together because if we can both win and we can win together, that celebration is going to be amazing. Mm. Can't, can't, can't dispute that. So, yeah. um, so that's the plan. And, and she looks incredible. I'm really, really, really excited for her. Probably even more so than I'm excited for me. So, yeah. well, I mean, really looking forward to you kind of have to be, you know, excited for your spouse to, you know, compete and then also, you know, go for a pro card. I mean, that's, it's a huge moment. Huge for moment. sure. And if, and if she wins the overall, she'll get invited to the rising Phoenix. Show. Right. Yeah. So that, I mean, that'll extend the time that she has to diet, but uh, you know, we were actually having this conversation yesterday. I was like, dude, if you win the overall and you get invited to the rising Phoenix, you would be an absolute freaking fool to not do it. Yeah. And especially since you're a wings of strength sponsored athlete and it's a wings of strength show that would yep. look really bad yep. on you yep. <laughs> if you don't go. So, um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm very confident she'll get, she'll get the job done. Yeah. I think so too. She's been looking good. I follow uh, both of you. So uh, she looks like she's ready. She's busting ass. It's definitely taking a toll, but um, she has like today and tomorrow. Uh, that's probably it. Maybe even maybe Monday is like harder days. Yeah. And then and then that's it. She'll be ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, shoot. It's exciting. Uh, it's exciting. Chicago's gonna be a good one. Uh, I, I'm it's definitely gonna be excited to see who uh, who's gonna show up. Um, Definitely you. I mean, the list should come out today. It's if gotta, not yeah, it's gotta tomorrow. Come out soon. Between today and tomorrow, the list should come out. But isn't the but the Vancouver is uh tomorrow is this weekend, right? Yeah, bro. I, I I'm kind of salty, man. Um, so I the the pro show is tomorrow, the 17th. The amateur is today, and okay, they split up the pro into men's and women's, and the amateur into men's and women, and they're charging forty two dollars for each live stream. Each each. So $160 for the weekend. Bro, killing me. <laughs> and there's only and there's only five guys in the open. I mean, let me, give me a second. I just I mean, it, it's not it, it's not anybody's fault. No, but 
but you yeah. gotta gotta take care of your fans like um like i just posted the scorecard a second ago like there's only seven men's open oh there's seven so they they added two more yeah yeah, yeah the they added a couple um but there's no there's no 212 i don't think um there is a classic which is gonna be it's gonna be okay there's there's a few guys um yeah branch chan i think his name is from uh oh from china the, 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 top five yeah yep yeah from two yep. years ago i think he's it doing the nasty. classic yep um but uh yeah there's a couple guys uh and then also there's a guy i followed since he was an amateur the jaws ifbb pro he's doing the mm-hmm. show as well uh and he looks good too but i, I think it's pretty much going to be branch's show yeah i agree yeah i mean he's top five in the olympia the, yeah it's kind of kind of yeah yeah that's a that's and he's a very consistent and he's very consistent oh so. yeah yeah i mean he's always man, he's just freaky he's a good guy um well yeah i'd say for this one it's gonna be antoine and ian uh for sure maybe uh Jonas from uh he did puerto rico and he did orlando um mm-hmm. he's been doing great amazing conditioning um i'm not too familiar with the rest of the guys uh one of them uh Kalade, he's the guy who won 212 last year at uh either Vancouver or yeah, Toronto. So he's um oh, he's switching okay. from so he 212 to open. open. Yep. Wow. So that's good for him. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm always excited to see like how they how they compare in uh in open. And you and know, lot, if it doesn't uh, work, then you go back to 212. But I I'm noticing a you know a lot more I'm noticing more 212 guys starting to um be adventurous and really see where they where they stack up yeah. um we want to push and, that genetic envelope and see like can they grow into it and and a lot of the 212 guys are you know, they're beating a lot of open guys and yep. based off of conditioning alone so it's really gonna it's really gonna raise the bar and the standard for what the open guys bring because yes. you know if you have two twelve guys with amazing structure and great conditioning, you can't come in off. You can't go for the freak factor. It's not going to work. You're going to look washed exactly, out. exactly. And and to, you know because we have that that hard uh, that hard weight cap, yep. you know it forces us to push for that extra that extra level of condition. Mm-hmm. So you, you guys are built perfectly. That's the, that's why I freaking love two twelve so much. Is like there's no room for error. You guys are perfectionist uh true professionals between you and the classic i mean the weight cap i feel has to stay there uh because it really pushes everyone to uh chase perfection um for sure and uh how are you like battling to stay under 212 or are you pretty comfortable around there um it it's close i get (laughs) i get i get under 212 you know, but my body definitely does not want to stay there. Okay. So, like, it's so like I was 206 uh, after cardio this morning. Wow. Um, so I, I you still have time to I, fill out. Right. So that's that's the uh. thing. We try to we try to get down low enough so that I have enough of a gap that I can carve up the way yep. I want to yep. and still make weight, you know, pretty easily. That's. So that that's always the battle for me, getting getting low, getting low enough below two twelve, and staying there so that I can carve up properly. Mm-hmm. So I have to kind of cross over into like that the you know getting low enough that I'm kind of flat, but not so low that I can't come back. There's no coming back yet. in time. So that's the that's the the game. That's the game for me. So, but. Um, you know, coming in, going into peak week at 206, 20, I was 205 yesterday. I'm, I'm in a really good spot. Oh, yeah. I'm in a really good spot. Yeah. We're, we're all excited for you, man. Uh, once Thank that you. competitor list comes out, uh, we'll look forward to, uh, you know, seeing how you compare against the other guys. Uh, definitely uh, excited to see you back on the stage, uh, you know, making improvements from New York. Uh, I'm excited for you and Dave. Um, Calic, you said? Yep. Yep. A lot. I think it's I think it's Kalik. Kalik. Yeah. Yeah. So we're excited for you and Dave Kalik to, you know, and and that's something a lot of people don't get is like you need time with a new coach to try out the grounds and and see what works, what doesn't work. So uh, you and Dave coming into your second show, I think, is going to be really, really good. 
So well, I think we're all absolutely. And I mean, he listens, he listens, you know, when I give him feedback as well, because obviously no one's going to know my body better than me. Right. Um, and, you know, intellectually, we're on the same wavelength. Uh, so oh, we can speak, we can speak on the same level. Talk shop. Um, and so there are times when I'll make a suggestion and he'll be like, yeah, that, that sounds good. We should do that. Or he'll be like, I'd like that, but let's, let's tweak this part of it. Right. Mm. And then sometimes I just like, I don't know. I'm not really sure what the fuck to do. Like I'm deferring to you, like you, whatever you tell me I'm going to do. So, yep. so we have, we have a really good rapport and relationship. That's good. Hell yeah. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, we more days, a few more days. And then, uh, and then what, then you start adding carbs or cause you said you don't really deplete too bad on the carbs. I won't, I don't, I don't need, and I don't need to add a lot of food in order to fill out. Oh, um, okay. honestly, honestly, I usually end up losing weight during a carb up. Wow. So yeah, it, it, it's really, it's really odd. Um, so like I, in order for me to even to be able to fill out and at the minimum maintain my weight, I usually have to push food pretty hard. Um, as far as like when you don't, when, you're, when we're talking about the carving up process and pulling water and all it's the, it's the water pulling that really makes the, it's, that's the part that makes my weight drop. Cause I am very susceptible to holding water and inflammation. Mm -hmm. So again, it, it, you know, there's a science behind it and just being able to navigate that properly is essential. And I've done enough of these shows and Dave has been around the bodybuilding scene, either as a coach or an athlete for, I think, three decades now. So, um, yeah. so we're, we're, I'm very confident in what we, what we have planned. Yeah. Very confident. So yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming to win. End of story. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Derek, uh, happy to have you on, man. It looks like uh, just you and me. So, uh, I think, um, I'm going to try a different link with Austin, maybe give him his own uh, right after this, but yeah, for uh, sure. But, uh, you want to plug your, uh, brass tacks, your, um, Tampa clothing company, Tamp Fit or Fam Fam Tampa. <laughs> fam Fam. So Fam Tampa is my gym. Um, oh, the gym. So yeah. Our our gym. Our gym. Um, <laughs> mine and my wife Anastasia. So yes. Flex Appeal Miami Tampa location. Uh, our Instagram is Fam Tampa. If you want to check us out, uh, my personal Instagram is Weapon X underscore IFBB Pro. Um, I also have a bunch of YouTube content um, coming out. So if you just search Derek Weapon X Oslin, you'll find my page. Um, oh yeah, there's, there it is. There's the Instagram. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, I have all the links there on my website. Uh, I need to get back into Twitch streaming now that I'm looking at it. Uh, yeah, that sounds fun. It just, it, the cardio and the diet was really kicking the shit out of me. And uh -huh. uh, I just didn't have the energy to entertain people. So I had to kind of mm. take a step back for a little bit. But um, yeah, so Fam Tampa is the gym. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with my own clothing, which you will see. You, you should see on what I'm wearing. Yeah, right that looks good. Nice oversized. I, look, I, I just got the samples in yesterday. So oh, wow. I ordered a bunch of samples for me to try out, um, make sure they look the way I want them to look. And uh, I had an artist do uh, this artwork here. So the acronym GIMB stands for gravity is my bitch. And okay. that's why that's why there's a bunch of, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like dumbbells and rubble floating okay. around him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I had an artist draw like a caricature of me. Um, nice. So yeah, uh, I think I'm going to probably release these after the show. I really, I really like how they came out. So, um, and yeah, that's it. Me and, uh, me and Anastasia are heading to Chicago on Wednesday and we're going to go take that shit over. Oh, yeah, man. It's uh, we're excited for you. Once that scorecards come out, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I, my schedule's pretty packed, but maybe we can squeeze you in uh, if you're interested. So let, let me, me know. know. Yeah, just shoot me. Yeah, just just shoot me a message um about like what your availability looks like, and I will do my absolute best to make it happen before the show. All right, man. Yeah, even if we can just get you on for another thirty minutes, I think that'd be that'd be good for the fans. For sure. For oh, sure, yeah, man. Well, uh, right. Derek, happy to have you back on, man. Uh, enjoy your posing sessions. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching another episode here on BNN. Subscribe if you have not already. It really helps the channel. Check out Derek's. Uh, he has your, your breakfast show. He has his brass tacks. He's got a lot yep. of different YouTube content out there. Check him out. Support him. Subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed this. And then it also helps me know that you want Derek to come back on. 
but uh derek thanks for coming back on man uh, again i think i said it like four times but uh definitely more than just every other year now <laughs> definitely for sure and thanks for having me i really appreciate it my pleasure man uh take care and then uh we'll, we'll talk to you before the chicago pro all right sounds good i'm gonna go get some food and i'm, I'm dying <laughs> oh yeah man all right take care all right see ya yeah, yeah see ya bye Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this entire episode. I genuinely appreciate you watching it all the way till the end. If you enjoyed Derek Osland and this style of a long format podcast interview style uh, content, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It genuinely helps the algorithm and it helps BNN grow and reach a larger audience. But uh, without further ado, thank you so much. My name's Sanch and I'll see you guys in the next one.